Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We ended last episode with helping some grandma in here with her gloom sickness. We made a porridge with a sandalion in it. And her granddaughters and her, I guess, they own a clothing store in this village. So we're gonna check that out today. But first I just wanna jump down in this well. We have that covered as well. Where I didn't take any damage falling down there. I hope this cave is not like uh, a couple of episodes ago when I was uh, seeing a cave and I was like, oh, let's explore this before we get to the depths. And then <laughs> the whole episode was exploring that cave. But we will see here how deep this one is. Is this something we should pick up? No? It's like a labyrinth inside here. Nice. Uh, small little ninja blade. Nothing there. Two giant seeds. They are actually good because we have run out of them. Keeps going there. Yeah. Was that everything? No? Oh, look at this. And carrot and pumpkins. Always nice. Was that all? An apple as well? And a book? Let's read it. Read the tattered notebook? Sure. My beloved husband always gives it his all when he's working in service of other. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and the good spirits. That's why I made him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. We're gonna cook that. My little Kotla, my perfect girl. I love her so very much. She's truly is the apple to my eye. Speaking of apple, this one we know how to do. Next page. Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she is an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Coco did, doesn't ever whine or complain about anymore. She is so strong and yet so wonderful. Luckily, mommy knows what Coco loves. Energizing honey, honey, honeyed apples. It's a tad difficult to collect honey, but as long as I carry fire with me, the bees won't attack. I would go for any lengths to see my Coco smiling. Even a few bee strings here and there are worth it. Okay, so we can do one thing, fortified pumpkin and meat. So meat and a fortified pumpkin, is it those? Yeah, so I'm not sure if the order I took them matters. I don't think so. Tough meat stuffed pumpkin. Nice. Defense up. That's great. And we don't need to climb out of this cave. I have learned this finally that just ascend out of the caves instead of backtracking. Silent princess. Let's snap a quick picture on that. How do we want to take this picture? It's not in focus. Can you auto focus, please? I guess it doesn't really matter. I snap it like that. Though. Nice. And we snag it quickly. Okay, so we're above where we were ending last episode. So let's try to find that uh, store. Clothing store. Maybe it's over here. No, 
this is just another um, store. Welcome. Hi. Hello, welcome. Trisa. <sighs> I'm sorry, the old fellas who stock this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone off to Ring Ruin. That's among the hills that lead west of the village. So as you can see, we're almost all out of goods. Mm. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of the, that problem up there. I can't go and check up on them. And the longer they're away, the more worried I get. A little side quest. Dear me, apologize for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Recommendations. I usually recommend the swift carrots. That's my that my mister grows. But here's the problem. He's gone off with that old fella to drive out monsters that live in one of the ring ruins. It's the ruin that's that's among the hills that lead west of the village. Okay. I'm not really up for selling at the moment. We're probably gonna need it when we wanna buy clothes. Uh, 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 uh. So here is a place we can quickly nap at. Also a quest. Hey. Welcome, friend. That bag, that frog looks a bit sussy. As a yugi or something. Uh, those eyelids feeling heavy. Then you come to the right place. Pick a bed in this inn and it's yours for a paltry of 10,000 rupees. Are you... What are you smoking, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You should have seen the look at your face. Ew. Yeah, I don't even work here. I stopped by hoping to catch some seas when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make up the beds in the survey team tents and that he'd be right back, but um, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look for him, but there's our four tent camps in, that, in this village and only one me. Ah. Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? If you run across some sleepy looking guy spacing out, you found your man. Good to know, good to know. Now we have two quests. Can I use the beds? No. So it looks looks like we need to restore this village <laughs> for a bit before we are able to, to use it. Here is a store that supply goods. Ah. Without, with everyone making such a fuss about Ring Ruins, I'm glad to see a young lad like you visit my humble arrow shop. You must be a fine archer, I am. If Lurin Village had more archers like you, then maybe things would have... Hap maybe things wouldn't have happened like they did. Lurin Village? If you wanna hear about my hometown, town, I can talk your ears off. Lurin Village is a small fishing town on the southeast coast. It may be out of the way, but it has shops and such you'll find only there. Our village is a lovely place. Oh. But then it was seized by those pirates and everyone had to abandon the village. The villagers are scattered all over now. The leader of the village is desperate to save Lurelin, but who knows what will happen. Ah, sorry, sorry. I don't didn't mean to take us in a, such a dark oh. direction. No helping it. Now then, back to work. I wanna sell. I will probably sell most of my... These ones. Because... Sure, they are fun to put on a weapon, but... Not really worth it when they are worth so much uh, money instead. So take all my... All my... Uh, ores, please. I don't want 15 of these. these. Look, I'm rich now. Thank you for business. Ah. And I'm gonna shop at your place as well. I will take them this. I will take them all. Also this. I will take them all. And what are these? Some aimbot. Always nice. Depends on the price. 16 for each. I don't really think that's worth it. I can collect them by myself. Mm. So where is the clothes shop then? Ah, it's obviously up here. <laughs> oh, a quest. Hey kid, uh, did you come to see the ring ruins too? I think uh, the, the game wants me to go to ring ruins. Uh, we might bump into each other when we're s running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the Sonai survey team 
people here or the village chief. Uh, you'll find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins, the one floating on the north side of the village. Oh. Don't need to hear more about the ring ruins. I have got the gist of it. So north. Yeah, there is north. Okay, so I guess the sheep should be somewhere there. And here's a compass store of some kind of thing. What's, what do they call it? So nice. Okay, it's a so nice survey base. Ah, here is this dude. Yeah. Ah, Link. Good to good of you to come. Uh, too curious to stay away, eh? <laughs> who are you again? I know who you are. You're the leader, uh, or the the leader that knows the um, translation thingy. It's me, Worthworth, the ancient Hyrule and schooler you met at Lookout Landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? I am. Oh. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on, on it using my notes on an ancient Hyrulean I had in, a, in storage at this research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. Once held the honor Al's Hoshmaid to King Rauru and Queen Sonai. Thereafter to his sister and und to Princess Zelda. Here on this great stand on 12 mo vitale make e endite min time with the royal family. So much hero reburn rebur rebur rebrowns a pre preserve preserven for the sake of him on who our hope rest. There's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible in elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she, is, she will write about the royal family daily. About the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Oh. It certainly seems to be royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's oh. founding. What's written here must be a start of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Did you notice number 13 there? That means that there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a ro royal chamberlain really left this, oh. it is interesting it's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history, bu history books don't mention. There's so much we could learn here of King Rauru, Queen Sonia, or even this curious woman named Selma. Mm. Twelve stone tablets left? Fascinating. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travel, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Nice, so now we have a um, continuance on that side adventure as well. Now we have a lot of quests juggling around at the same time. But we are going to the store. Can we climb up here? Oh, here's a book. I'm... I'm done with reading lore at the moment. <laughs> Here is the clothes shop. Smart to look at the map before you guess. Ooh, what is this? The paint on these tights is made from the crushed lum luminous stones. It caused the tights to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark. Ooh, maybe this is good in the depths. And what is this? Stealth gear. Nice, nice, nice. I want them both. Yeah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. Oh, it's you! Now that Grant's mother better, I can go back to our normal prices. The fashion worlds owe you a debt. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We also buy anything you don't need, or just talk to me when ah. you're ready. Ah, that reminds me. For a limited time, customer who buys a piece of clothing from us will receive a special gift, so get on shopping. Well, you had me at special 
gift and also discounted prices or normal prices. And when you buy a piece of clothing, you get a special gift. So here you go. Ooh, nice fabric design. Thank you for your patronage. 700. That's expensive, but I'm gonna take it. Do we get a gift as well? No, we only got one gift. Oh, now she's... Uh, anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go to Hateno Village, southeast to Hateno Village. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. CC brand? The CC brand is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over Hyrule. Is it those <laughs> nose-looking designs that all uh, the fashionistas have on them? I can't believe such a hot brand came out of Hateno Village in Ecluda. Anywho, my little sister Lasley is on her way there to study fashion. I know, I was there when you talked. But with her sense of direction, I hope she gets there in one piece. I hope so too. Oh, excuse me, do you need something else? I wanna sell as well. I have like 50 of these. So maybe sell 20. And also the luminous stone we can sell... Let's say we sell 8, 9, 8, 10. anything else of value to sell that we have a lot of not really huh no ah. do i have okay i don't want anything more from you do i really still use my <laughs> cold cloth i have forgotten about this hat uh we need the we, we don't need we want the flying it's also always nice let me just buy the pants as well, so we have the... Oh, before I buy it, I needed to check. Yeah, stealth can be up to three, so we want the whole set. Nice. So now we're a bit sneaky, so now we can start doing sneak strikes on people. And I really need this as well. But that's for another time, when we have more money. Let's go up here. And this dude I recognize. I don't recognize. <laughs> Uh, good grief, it's Lady Paya's duty to take care of the village. But w whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Is that really you? L Link? Why? It's been some time. You gave me a quite shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. <sighs> and right now, too, while our chief is the chief? Ah, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Let's go and fix that then. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Sonite survey team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about the responsibilities as chief? Would you do me a favor and stop by and see Lady Paya? I will. First, I'm just gonna take a look at uh, this place. <laughs> Too much reading everywhere. <laughs> Let's read it. Read Paya's diary of a chief. First page. One day, grandmother said to me, You're grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like grandmother, I do have Dorian as my aide, for which I am grateful. Yet for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother had become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concern. I fear this sheep hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. bear. Literally, I rather it rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact, it was as though someone had to taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell for somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. injured? 
As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village. And a large opening in the ground has been spot at, spotted at East Hill. Just a quick sip of water here. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kabel. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she sh was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in the books grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? I guess so, it's the hieroglyphs. I told Pura of looking Lookout Landing about our village situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made an arrangement with the Sonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. Okay. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness to, for our villagers. The Sonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Tauru, is incredible. He's truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Sonai writing. I tenta... I tenta... Tentative... I s hard word? I something named the ruins that fell upon our village to the ring ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with ring ruins. Of their own volit volit volition, uh, some of the villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter Coco even grafted souvenirs item called Ring Garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn about the Ring Ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed f of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a tri triumphant smile. Doesn't look uh, this dude has it all... All figured out wrong. After reading that, she is doing her part, so stop hating on her. Just, just because she doesn't do it the same way as the old generation did it, doesn't mean it's wrong. <laughs> Let's go and talk to her also. That's disappointing. Hello dudes and girls. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it floats up there, yeah. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predeces predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Hmm. Uh. Oh, it's that you, Master Link? I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Paya, chief of the Kakariko village. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. And now they're gonna find out? <laughs> uh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not long ago. I know, I have re read your diary. <laughs> it was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko village and she told you, you don't go into the ruin. She ordered us all to stay far away from ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. 
I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything about uh, those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin doesn't look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak. Master Link, especially on the matter of such importance. How confusing. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Tauru, an est esteemed member of the Sonai survey team. Yeah, we have met before. I invited him here to investigate. Sorry. One second. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredible he has incredibly deep knowledge of the Sonai civilization. He's even familiar with Sonai script. He is truly an incredible talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. S Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around this village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mentions of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Aww. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could preside her, pursue her to change Aww. her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is all right, if everything is all right, why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's truth, true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. You can leave it alone, but I don't have to. Or is this dude gonna tell me not to go here? Or hey, you there! Come here! Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruins by Princess Zelda's order. So you better be on your way, Princess Zelda's order. You heard me, Princess Zelda came out to Kakariko village the other day and told everyone to steer, to steer clear of the ring ruins. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you surely noticed, these ruins would, could come crumbling down at any time. So folk need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concern were coming from. I'm not sure that's why she was so concerned. Are we done over here? Oh. The whole story about Princess Zelda, blah blah blah. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Taruto. I'm here on Paya request to investigate the ruins that oh. fell around this village. Have you been to all four of the ring ruins that fell around the village yet? No. Uh, most of them broke Apart when they landed, we found stone slabs with some writing inside of each of the site. Decipher the instructions. I deciphered the instruction and found out they have been written by those ancient new. Those ancient new new as sages. My guess is that the floating ring ruins uh, also has a stone slab with even more details about these sages. But Princess Zelda forbid us. Yeah. So you two didn't advance the quest. And I'm thinking, like, if I just climb up, can't I just jump down there? And for how long will it um, rain? Long time still. So this dude here told me about... Uh, yeah, we can do those side quests, maybe. They should be short. Uh, Junior store's risk of running out of goods. The two old men who st stocked their store have left to drive monster out of the ring ruins in the hills west of the village. 
So let's start with that little side quest. So west of the village. Maybe it's these ruins. Because there's my horse. So if north is that, west is here. So somewhere here we should have ruins. Probably these ruins, I would imagine. If we can just climb up. Oh, another quest. I'm just a simple tourist like you, kiddo. The Sonai survey team or village chief can tell you more about the ring ruins. Uh, they're all the most si amazing sight to see in Hyrule. Of all the ruins that fell everywhere, these are ring-shaped wonders are only in this village. Five of them. They've found a stone slab with Sonai writing. Everybody's repeating the same message to me. Those ancient messages are the main reason I came to the village. The problem is I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of the house. And every ring ruin fell somewhere high up. One of the ruins is floating above part of the village, so at least I can see it from below. The other four though, forget about it. I can't even get close. I wish I could just find out what, what's on the stone slabs in each of these ruins. So he wants me to take a photo maybe? Hmm, you know what's written on the stone slates? That's amazing. I could never climb to such uh, heights. I have, I have so much respect for you. So uh, what did they say? Uh, we already know what they say, it looks like. Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protecting the kingdom. I see, how fascinating. I bet those sages were nearly as strong as and wise as Princess Zelda herself. Thank you for telling me about the slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just three left. I can only imagine what discoveries lies in store. Yes, we should go to all of those slabs then. Thing is, we can't climb with this rain. Ah, I don't even need to climb because I'm... Uh, <laughs> I have this. Classic to forget my powers. That's actually nice. Some shrooms. Let me just quickly snap a picture on them. Iron shrooms. Okay, we're gonna pick one. We can snap a picture on one. That's good enough. Ooh. I even had a... That's bad by me. Delete this stamp also. Let's go to this ring ruins, because that's to the west, so I guess those guys fighting are somewhere here. That uh, had the job of restocking the store. Maybe up there, because it's tents over there. Oh, so we can just check this out for a quick second. Oh. See if it's anything of value here. Doesn't look like it. Let's quickly glide around here. Come on, come on, come on, be enough. Oh, oh. <sighs> now I'm gonna fall down. No? That was lucky. Nothing to destroy this with, so let's just take a hand. Just see what where this road leads us. Hey, you there! Come here. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna be down at him now. Yes, I have heard. Now I need to climb everything again, huh? That sucks. Like, why did I need to come down? Oh my god, it's goddamn... That made me a bit annoyed. Okay, can we just... If we can get up on this roof somehow, probably by doing this and... Nice. Then we can glide here. And don't go too close, because I don't I'm not feeling I don't wanna feel his wrath again. Okay, so those red are like don't go further. And my theory of like can't I just go from above? Also held uh, didn't work. God, this goddamn rain. One, two, three, four, and then jump. Come on. Oof. I was. <laughs> Last breath of uh, stamina. Guess we go up here. Oh my god. Always with this, like. <laughs> you have one centimeter spot that you can use your. I understand why. Okay, let's read this book first. Large Ring Ruins Research Journal, Saguru. There are five ruins around the village. But what I call the Large Ring Ruins ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though part of it is a collapse, it's only blah blah blah. Uh, as with other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with Sonai script was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp. Okay. I love your heart to travel. Have you... Hey you, get your feet off the stone slab. Oh, I was like, is it the person down there? Again? It was not. <coughs> this is one of the priceless artifacts from the ring ruins, so please be careful. I'm sorry. Ah. I know the rain is soothing and all, but seriously? If anyone blabs to Saguru that someone is sleeping on the stone slab, I don't know what I'll do. It's beyond vab value. Ah yes, stone slabs are, well, slabs, like the one this guy is sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of Ring Ruins sites. Here. Uh, they found this one in the ruin above us. Okay. Uh, our leader is able to read Sonai writing and says the text on the slab is a record of historic fight. One that has been between a great king that era and a demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Aww. It worries me to know this discovery talks about the demon king return and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time here. You can read the deciphered writings for yourself. It's right next to the slab. Where's the inn owner? Huh? The inn owner is him. That guy right there. He came to change our beds, but then I realized he fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. Up. I tried shouting and then shaking him. Nothing. What's more... He decided to doze off on top of this priceless stone slab. He's been saying truffle now and then. Yeah, I saw that earlier, so I was thinking maybe we should just give him a hearty truffle. Maybe he's having a dream of eating one of those. 
I wonder if he's wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. But it's hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. I did find one, however. I also have plenty. Oh. It was bobbing along under that waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped the truffle there or if it's if it floated in from somewhere else. Dude, I have like three on me, so just take one on me instead. I've got to do something about this guy soon. Saguru in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Can I just drop a truffle on him? <laughs> Is that... I have, even have nine of them. Okay, so if I drop one here... Oh. Sniff, snorf, <laughs> a gentle aroma with a strong hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. Uh-huh. Was that just a dream? And where am I? That's right, I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Ooh, that traveler is going to be so mad at me. He will. He's been standing there for days. Uh, I didn't even lose it. Nice. Uh, the stone slab at the large ring ruin. Some translation notes. Uh, the demon king. Vast powers. No hope. Victory. King's own life. Manage. Imprisoned him. In prison, not in indefinitely, prepare demon revival, we sages must leave our knowledge, future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people of the future would have to prepare for the Demon King revival. So I guess that's two down, three to go. Ah, oh, there, that one is. So let's go up here. Oh my god. Wrong button. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Here we should climb. Ack, rain in my eye. It's been raining forever. Hmm, did Pura send you? I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Island. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team? This is an official ring ruins research site. It's dangerous here for <laughs> civilians. But if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. I guess so. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions. Mm, along as long as they're about the Sky Island. Anything live up there? We're not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure things lives up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Ah. Try talking to Cory. Yeah, we have already talked to her. She was not up for talking. <laughs> If that's interesting, you should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Uh, because I can go on about Sky Islands forever. Oh. Ah. Yeah, we know this. Uh. Hmm, I know more. I want to know more about armor made with Sonai tech. Clothing and culture are tied together, and there are so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlement. We think some sort of cul cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying oh. the ring ruins. Uh, we don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet. I love to go some someday. We have we have me. <laughs> I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Northeast, huh? Somewhere here, maybe. Okay, okay, I want to 
climb this thingy. And now, finally, the rain has stopped. Which means we can climb without worrying of falling down. Mm. Is it something up here? Large boy. That was a long swim inside the this thingy. Oh my! I wanna climb, not glide. This is such a Kuroko. <laughs> Kuroko spot. Hi, hey, hey. hi. I did. Bye bye. Uh, look. I was the water there. Nice. <laughs> was it anything else of value up here? Was that it? A rather boring ruin. <laughs> Because if this is one, that's one that we haven't been to. Uh, that's the one we have been to, because that's where that thing is. There is one as well. And then you have ruins there. But I'm scared of flying over here if that dude is gonna stop us again, but let's try it. Because he can't see us from here. That's just crazy stuff. And also here is a Kuroko dude. You wanna go where? My friend is all over there. Oh, that's far. I see your smoke signal. We're gonna help you someday. But not today, so I'm just gonna... Quickly do something here. Something of value, I guess. Oh, here's a lot of blooms or flowers. Have I already snapped a picture on this? I think so, yeah. I keep the old one. That's more good looking. Okay, we had ruins underneath us. That's a lot of... Oh, it's a uh, chasm, even. Here is another... ...reedy thingy. The stone slab at the no eastern ring ruin. Some translation note. Wind, flame, water, lightning. And time. Light, who holds the power. Secret stone. And... That person dwell within power amplify great might display. The thrust of the message on this slab is about something called secret stones. Those who held powers such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light, and time, amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. Is the stone those nine, uh, like the number nine looking thing is? That's what I'm guessing it would say if I, we could read the whole thing. That our friend Tulin has on his feet right now. I think that's the, the same. And also talk to these dudes. Gently, gently. We're gonna get scared now. To think that a chasm would open so close to a village is Warren's constant observation. Salis is leading the Ring Ruins investigation, so that leaves me free to focus on Gloom. <clears throat> Watch it! Ah? Don't you startle me. Ew, that was close. I could have ah? fallen. I'm a specialist in Gloom, not defying gravity. One false step, and that's the end of my research. Now, what's bringing you up here? Uh, have you come uh, for a pro professional consul consultation on Gloom, perhaps? Oh, ah. No, I know what I need to know about Gloom. I 
I hear a bee. It told me if I brought fire, so if I if I throw fire here, that make them leave. Yeah. Should also just quickly snap a picture of them. I also want to snap a picture of the bees. I guess I have to anger them for that. I... They are not something I could snap. Okay, I'm gonna take damage. That was not worth. We're not jumping down there quite yet. These ruin ruins I've been to. That one i also been to. This one I've been to. That one we can't go to. That means we need to go to that one for now. For your uh, life and picture. <laughs> is that rush room? I think it is. And I said next time I saw one I would snap a picture on it. I really just quickly have to do that as well. Not the best picture, but it will uh, do for now. And we will also go and get it. a wind gust. I promise that it's a Kuroko seed up there or up here. So we're gonna go and check that out also. But first explore this still thingy. I hear is more people as well. Are these these two that are fighting? Yeah 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 <laughs> On and on you go with your best defense is good offense nonsense. And now it's afternoon already. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of these monsters. And we won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old codger. Yeah, look who's talking. Dude, I will just go and fix it for you. You can stop fighting. Is it in here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 start with some snipe. Hopefully we get a headshot here. <laughs> That's bad. That's even worse. That's almost a headshot. That's a headshot. Thank you. That's no headshot. Oh my god. Boom. Boom. Yeah, yes. Keep going forward. Oh. Yeah, damn. Forgot I had a two-handed on me. Oh, he has a good weapon that I want. I want the spiked iron ball hammer. Pretty please. I don't need three of the samurai swords. I'll drop that for that. 
Was it one left? Yeah. Nice little crate. Another crate, and this will probably break my bow now. No. Nice. Ooh. We have to take a photo on this as well. Okay, I'm gonna... I hate it when it's things in the way. I want my photo to be clean with just the thing. Nice. Drop. And pick up. And pick up. Read this. The stone slab at the nestled ring ruin. Some translation notes. Uh, those who most, those who most elite among them, granted qualifications, are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly, the sages are, are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented, in, talented in individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Yeah. Pretty much what's been... Uh, what's the word? I have forgot that word. Uh, confirmed. It has been confirmed in our like vision after the, the boss fight. So here we can do something if we want to. I will probably use this one to just fly up a bit. My theory is, it's a Kuroko seed on this tip or the other tip. No Kuroko here, huh? Croc here as well, but we can take a snap a quick picture on these fruits. Maybe I want the whole whole tree with it as well. That's a better picture. This is just my <laughs> perfectionism. Uh, take those. Is this something we can like rewind? No. So I stood corrected. It was no Kuroko seeds over here. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's glide back to the fighting dudes. Maybe that quest is done now. And also I didn't at all check this whole place out. Maybe we have some loot hidden. See, here is something. So night sword. I guess I don't need three boulder swords. So we drop one of them. Then return to the fighting dudes. What? I don't believe it. Uh, you defeated all the monster. Just who are you? That was some kind of fighting you did there, Olkin. It sure was. A firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. <laughs> Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we realize that 
the truth before it was too late. We need to balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. I don't know if this was a is a good reward, but Oking knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but I'm glad to help if we can. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest that we head back to our village. Right, I bet my Trisa store is running low on goods right now. People there must be in a deep need. We are. Go back to work. I'm glad it's safe now. Mm. Now that you've chased off the monster, I can go back to investigating the stone slabs in the ring ruins. Thank you. Uh. Don't need to hear, hear anything more about that. Now we're gonna talk to Trissa and we're gonna probably talk to to the, the touristy guy and also uh, the one that was looking out at the inn. So we have completed those three quests now. Which is a good uh, performance, I think. It's here. So let's start with the inn. I'm the sleepy one here. Hey, there you are. Sounds like you got... Sounds like I've got you to thank for waking this guy up. No more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. Nice. A three three sleep resistance. That's a good potion. It's high quality. Con potion made of four sticky frogs and a boccolobin horde. That I need to... Quickly make so I get the recipe. Four sticky frogs. And a boccolobin horn. Four sticky frogs, one boccolobin horn. Four sleep. Four frogs, one boccolobin horn. Where can I. Where can I cook? I'm gonna do this because otherwise I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> uh, four sticky frogs. I hope I have four. I have three only. Um, but I know where they are. They're up on this wall again. Let me just quickly travel up here. I know I could maybe have upheaval, but I thought it was maybe too high up. Uh, four sticky frogs. The hell? Wasn't it here I found the sticky frogs? Maybe they don't come out on the evenings. Maybe I have to wait to the for the morning to come again. I'll take these herbs quickly, yes. Oh my god. Is my cooking pot gone also? Didn't I put it here? Yeah, it looks like it's gone. Okay, so let's take a quick nap until day time and then go and get some sleepy frogs or sticky frogs. Mm -mm -mm. You're a customer, right? Yes, thanks for waking me up. The scent of truffle. I think of its aroma the next time I drift off to sleep. That person on the service team was telling me about that stone slab, and before I know it, I fell asleep. Uh, yes. I want a soft bed. Uh, noon. Hopefully we will find 
a sticky frog because it's four of those and one buckle. Now I probably learned this recipe because I have repeated it so many times. Blood moon. Yeah. When the glow of the blood stain. Ooh. That was not worth. <laughs> Lost three hearts of sleeping. The first sleeping. Rain, as always. Maybe they come up out in the rain, actually. A lot of walking now. But I, I want one more sleepy, sticky frog. Who are you guys? We're hands-on with the ring ruins last, I can't believe it. Mm, let the, this chunk is just a small piece of ring ruins, nothing much really. Yes, I know. Yeah, you're just saying everything I already know. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? I thought you we were gonna get yelled at again. We really want to become members of the Sony survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Did you know the ring ruins have been found? Yes, I know. Okay. We know everything they says here. Don't tell me like this rain are making this sticky frog disappear. What is that? Is that just a visual bug or is that something? And that's just a <laughs> small little stone. Ugh. Don't tell me I'm not gonna find another slippy, sticky frog. I thought they were in abundance over here. Okay, we have to give up on that thing right now. So let's finish the other quests just quickly here. You don't like the rain? So here is one of the quest dudes. Hey there, seeing the sights isn't as much fun in the rain, huh? So did you visit Ring Ruins? I would if it was if I wasn't scared of the height. No one is allowed to visit the one ruin that's floating above the village. But if you read of the slabs in any of the other four Ring Ruins, tell me what it says. What? You went to see them for me? So what did they say? There were once people blessed with wind, water and lightning as well as time and light. And these people used secret stone to amplify their powers. Wow. They must have been had some pretty amazing rocks way back then, huh? Thank you so much for that. Only two left. I read all of them. You had a chance to see more. What's written on them? So in this ancient battle, the king and all the sages fought the demon king, but they couldn't defeat him. Still, they tried to leave a glimmer of hope behind for the people of the future, for us. That's really something, huh? Hey, you don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign of the Demon King's resurrection, do you? It is. Uh, I can't, it can't be, right? It must be, I must be overthinking things. Thank you for telling me about this lab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just one left. I can only imagine what discoveries lie in store. You had the chance to see more? What's what's written on that one, then? So it's not enough to be exceptional. You need a secret stone to be a sage. Or so it seems, at least. But what is a secret stone? If it's... If it's that special, I'm sure it's beauty would put a diamond to shame. So that was the fourth one, I see. Hmm, wait a second. If you look at all these slaps messages together, don't they sort of read like one single message? You don't think, could the rest of the message be on the slab in the floating ruin? But why? Hmm. Oh, this is impossible. Trying to figure stuff out, making my head hurt. Oh well. At the end of the day, I learned a little something about our history. Thank you for everything. From one site, sir, to another, I'd like to reward you with one of my personal favorite travel necessis necessaries. Thunderwing Butterfly. Oh. The Thunderwing Butterfly. It's caught in the foreign region. Uh, they only come out when it rains. You can boil them with monster parts to make an elixir that grants you resistance to electricity. Remember that, it'll come handy on your travels. Take it from me. Alright then, I'll see you around. I'll see you around, dude. 
And this door was refilled. It's this door that's not refilled. But now it is. Welcome! Aww. Well, visitor, I heard the news. You done us a huge favor. Those two have argued about offense and defense since they were barely old enough to walk. <laughs> they just praised each other's vegetables. And now it's like a brand new day for these old coots. Uh, we also got some stock back in, so it's happy days all around. That remind me, please take this. And Dura carrot, highly valuable as a medicinal plant. This carrot contains large amount of nourishing energy. When cooked, it gives my stamina boost. Nice, nice. Aww. I will drop by whenever I need carrots. Or anything else. Uh, but for now, we're out of here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see what we have. We have seven of sticky lizards. I wonder if you can do the same recipe. But with sticky lizards instead. Let's try that. So four of these and one Bokolobin horn. And how does the Bokolobin horn look like? I have forgot it seems. Bokolobin fang. Horn. That's a Bokolobin horn. It only gave us one sleep resistance. But that's the correct recipe, I guess. But the froggies are better. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. But now we have the recipe for that at least saved. And look at the time. I think we will call this an end for the episode. Wait, have we unlocked memories? The Awakening, where am I? And something before the Awakening. That's a bit sus. Uh, let's go and just quickly look at the side quest here. Yeah, we have done the side quest we had in this town. Before we end it, I want to buy something here. Um, that spot is reserved for my green garlands. Get down from there. You're going to get all dirty. Get them all dirty. Sorry, wasn't... In purpose, I don't like to take this tone with customers, but you're an adult. You should know manners better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't on purpose. Ah. How about a ring garland as a souvenir? Only five ru ru rupees each. I'll take one. Ah. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add an extra little bit of love to it. Okay. Ah. Here you go. The hell should I do with this? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but I can't make so many ring garlands. I'll sell you one each day. I hope you really like them though. Now something happens. After the ring ruins fell from the sky, Kakarilla got much better. It's like we're more a part of everyone's lives now, and they are more part of our village. Alright, I hope you have a lot of people in your day too. Uh, it's like... We will end the episode any second here. I'm just gonna... Ah, uh, here is... Haya has changed position, that's good. Mm. Master Link, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Princess Zelda whereabouts, so I'm not sure I can be of any help to you. However, my plan is to investigate the ring ruins so throughoutly as possible. Doran, my aide, does not seem too happy about it, but I believe this falls under my duty as chief and must be done. That's all I have for you at the moment, so please, so long for now. So long for now. And he is still guarding. Woke up just in time. Princess Zelda ordered everyone to stay wipe out. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're pretty stuck here at the moment in this town. So we should probably go to another town next. And that will be for the next episode. Because now we have run out of time. 
I hope you have enjoyed this a bit more talky episode or ready. We've done some quests in this town, which is nice. But not a lot of action, but sometimes you need to progress the storyline as well with a lot of reading. If you have enjoyed it, please consider liking as always. Leave a comment stating what you thought about the episode. It would make me happy. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes, of course. Uh, this has been 23. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, bye bye.